Hi, I am Shada Bakhtar Rabbani and today I have with me the Samsung Galaxy S10e. Which I've been using for a long time and in this video I'll be telling about the features and I'll be doing some interesting comparisons to find out if this E stands for efficient. First let's start with the features that's on offer with this phone. So uh, we'll start with the cameras and at the rear we have a 12 megapixels primary camera with it comes a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera and with it on the front we have the 10 megapixel front facing camera that is also hole punch type. We have the prism white color phone uh, which has a 5.8 inch full HD screen and a metal and glass belt. On the right we have the power on off button which is also a capacitive uh, fingerprint scanner and at the top we have the SIM tray, the secondary microphone and the in-ear speakers and at the bottom we have the C-type uh, charging port and then we have the speakers which is really good and then we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack and on the side we have the volume rocker starting at 50,900 we are getting 6 GB of RAM, 128 GB of storage and Exynos 9820 chipset which is really quick. So it has got a 3100 mAh battery which is highly efficient given its smaller screen size and a powerful chipset. To the comparisons, I'll tell you about the features on S10e and how it differs from the S10 and S10 Plus. So the S10e is enclosed with most features available on S10 and S10 Plus. What's it missing? We're gonna talk about that. So the display is much smaller than the S10 and S10 Plus. So this has got 5.8 while S10 comes with 6.1 inch and S10 Plus comes with 6.4 inches. Talking about the camera, so this one comes with a dual camera at the back while the S10 and S10 Plus come with a triple camera at the rear uh, with an addition of telephonic lens. On the front we have just a single camera while the S10 Plus comes with a secondary 8 megapixels camera. There is no curve on the display as available on its higher end counterparts. Uh, the in-display fingerprint scanner is missing but the capacitive fingerprint scanner which is with the power button is highly efficient. At 150 grams, this phone is much lighter than its counterparts. If you ask me if you can go ahead with the S10e, I would say absolutely. It has such a good build. This one is the phone to go for if you are not ready to spend over 60,000 or even close to 70,000 for the S10 Plus. The camera quality is really good with the primary camera, even with the ultra wide lens. And we also have the portrait mode, that's the live focus. And it's really sharp and it comes out very well even in dim lights as we have the night mode. Talking about the front camera, it takes clear pictures. We can also shoot 4K videos in both the front camera as well as the rear camera. Let me sum up the positives and negatives for you before you go ahead and buy the S10e. Starting with the pluses, the phone is compact and handy, it has got a quick chipset, great cameras, a good battery life, it comes at a great price. Now moving on to the minuses, the phone starts getting warm randomly, the fingerprint scanner is much higher than we would have liked and the fast charging isn't as quick. Now my final verdict. The S10e has got lots to offer for its price. It doesn't have a lot of competitors out there, but OnePlus 7 Pro is surely one. That's all from us. Keep watching TNI videos. We have more gadget reviews coming up.